and welcome to another video here on the Little X Tech YouTube channel. Today we have it on release day, the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Here's the box that it came with. Let me take it out the packaging, mailing packaging, and we got it in the blue titanium color. As you can see, we still have the seals on it. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now I am upgrading for my 13 Pro Max, so the new Dynamic Island and all that will be kind of new for me. We still have the tabs right here. Let's go ahead and tear the top one open. Satisfying, yes sir. We'll go ahead and tear the one at the bottom open as well. So if I can get it there and satisfying. As we know, we just lift up on the box and there we go. Oh my goodness, this thing is beautiful i have to say it looks amazing the cameras well i have the 13 pro max and i feel like this ones are bigger i, I don't know i have no idea why let's put the phone off to the side fresh impressions yes it is way lighter we have our braided usb-c to usb-c charger right here we have our apple I was going to say Apple stickers, but our Apple documentation with our single Apple sticker. This kind of bothered me. I kind of used to, used to like when we got two quick little setup and it says you no longer need a physical SIM card to activate your iPhone. So this is going to be my first time. Wow, this is very minimal packaging that they include. I mean, minimal paperwork that they include. Put that back. Put our single Apple sticker back in here. I gotta say the braided cable does feel pretty nice though. We'll pull that off. Even though I've been charging it exclusively with the little MagSafe puck, as you can see there. Switching to the iPhone, as you can see, we have the sides right there in that gorgeous blue titanium. Here we have our action button, which if you can hear it, it's pretty clicky. We have the back, as you can see, um, I saw people complaining about fingerprints being left on the device. Fresh impressions is not too bad as people were saying it. And wow, I can say that it's actually pretty light compared to my 13 Pro Max. We're gonna go ahead and reveal it in three, two, one. Peeling it off, as you can see there. This is my first time having the Dynamic Island and I can say it looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. This experience is new to me. The Dynamic Island is new to me as you can see the reflection there of my 13 Pro Max. We're gonna go ahead and boot it up shaky there i am excited as you can see we have our dynamic island we have our usb-c this is crazy our type c charger and plug that in there we're gonna test it out i gotta say it feels, feels just as good as if you were plugging in a lightning cable wow i still can't believe it well there you go guys this was a little quick unboxing and i guess a little overview um of if this is worth it for you i would say if you have the 14 definitely not um i mean unless you want type c and you want the action button but if you have the 14 i would say i would still recommend you to keep the 14 until the next upgrade now if you're coming from a 13 like me or even from my older phone yeah i would say go ahead and upgrade but if you just have let's say the regular let's say iphone 11 i would still recommend going for the regular non-pro you still get the USB-C, even though it's not the super fast one. You won't get the telephoto camera, which let's see if we can have a little peek at the lens, see how it looks like. Can't really see it that well. But like I mentioned, unless you need or you have an upgrade, if you have a 14, I would recommend you just go ahead and, and sticking with that one. But fresh impressions, I really do love this color. The titanium feels great in the hand. Man, I, I just can't believe that just a couple of days ago, we were just looking at the pre-order, looking at the fresh impressions. And now I am holding this device in my hand. I'll do a little overview so you can see it. Like I mentioned, I'm coming from a 13 Pro Max. And this is going to be a big change for me because, you know, type C and we have the action button. But I do have to say the round edges do make it more comfortable. This is a phone that I am totally, that I totally would be comfortable rocking caseless. My 13 Pro Max sometimes gets a little, uh, I hold it like this. So it kind of bothers me at the bottom of my pinky because it's obviously kind of pokey. But this one, this feels super comfortable. 
this feels almost like my 11 Pro Max that I used to have. That's how comfortable it feels. So yeah, I would totally recommend it, even just for the comfort. Coming from the 13 Pro Max, if you have an upgrade or, you know, if you're able to trade in, which is what I did, I traded in my iPhone 13 Pro Max for this one, and I gotta say, it looks awesome. The color is not muted, but it's, it doesn't, it's not shiny blue, but you can obviously tell that it's blue. As you can see, it looks kind of different when light hits it. It kind of looks kind of black sometimes, but I still think it looks great. And there we have it guys, a little quick unboxing of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. If this is your first time watching and you feel like you want to, please subscribe. Leave a comment below of your favorite feature that Apple released this year. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.